Lucknow actor Vanita Vijay Kumar today went on a hunger strike right outside the home of her former husband. She has been waging a legal battle for the custody of her child and said that the court orders are in her favour. The actress told reporters in Chennai the courts have decided that she should be given custody of her son Vijay Shri Hari by January 18th. She says every time she tried to correct her son, her husband had resisted. She also told reporters that her son was being kept away from her against his wish. I have so many court orders, even from the Supreme Court, my case uh, which was appealed against the orders which were given by the division bench from Madras High Court favoring that the child has to be handed over to me within January 18th was appealed and it was dismissed. So I have five court orders that favor that the child, my son Vijay Srihari has to come to me, uh, has to be handed over to me by the father after uh, the father had kidnapped the child from me and taken him away and kept him in illegal detainment and illegal custody. But still, I am not able to execute any court order till date. Only because Akash is just misbehaving every time I try to execute my court orders in the same street in front of Akash house, in front of 30 people, all neighbors witnessing. He beat me up like a dog over here. I called the police. This neighbors called the police. The police came here. I gave a complaint. They registered a CSR because I insisted. But they did not take any inquiry or action till date. On to some national news in the second bomb scare in the capital in just one week, a suspicious packet was found outside Gargi College in South Delhi. The police have confirmed that it was a low-intensity bomb and are now claiming that it was perhaps a prank. A bag containing some powder and two pencil batteries were found near the college, triggering another security scare five days after a crude bomb exploded outside the Delhi High Court. I think one of her students taking the examination, 9 to 12, must have finished early. And when she went out to her the bus stop, just outside the college, under the seat, she found something that looked like a bomb. And I'm very proud to say she was, you know, uh, smart enough to immediately run across the road and inform the PCR van staff there that, uh, you know, such a uh, suspicious looking object is under the... Uh, seat in the bus stop and uh, then she came and informed the college office by the time the college staff rushed to the gate already the PCR van had alerted the police and they with the bomb squad come and uh, by about uh, 10 past 12 uh, they had already diffused the bomb and the whole thing was over so and they left bomb for sure. the, is yes it's a bomb for sure the bomb squad uh, uh, confirmed it now the difference between the civil society and the government members of the Lokpal bill draft panel have now come out in the open. The two sides are divided on whether or not the Prime Minister should come under the purview of the Lokpal bill. According to the activists, the government is adamant on keeping the Prime Minister outside the bill. Now, the Pakistan intelligence agencies have arrested ex-Navy commander Kamran Malik for the attack on the Mehran naval base in Karachi. Kamran Malik was arrested from Lahore along with his brother. Malik was detained on the basis of a lead provided by one of the suspects that were arrested earlier from Karachi and Faisalabad last week. Pakistani agencies claim to have arrested seven suspected Al-Qaeda men for the attack and five of the seven men held were said to be of foreign origin. Moving on, former IMF chief Dominic Strauss-Kahn has set up a crisis team. He is now putting together an army of investigators, media advisors and former spies to fight back the sexual assault charges. Interestingly, the people he consulted so far include ex-CIA spies, top New York criminal investigators and well-connected public relations specialists in France. Prosecutors estimate that Strauss-Kahn could be paying as much as $200,000 a month for his security. Fees for lawyers and investigators could cost millions more. On the other side, watch these students making their own fashion statement as they pass out of college.